What's up guys, back with another video. So today the car's been sitting down where we took it off the trailer last time uh, for a while. Uh, I've been working super busy, but we're gonna drive it home right now. Uh, probably shouldn't be doing that, but in my house is close to here. So we're gonna drive it home and then uh, we got a bunch of stuff to do to it. So I'll go over that and uh, we're gonna get wrenching on this thing. We got a date set for the tune and everything like that. So yeah, I'll, I'll get into all that and I'll show you guys what's up and what we're gonna do next on this thing to, t to button it up and get it all squared away. So let's rock and roll. super dirty in here I can barely see out of it but it's all good so one thing we noticed last time we were test driving it was that the uh, the right passenger rear dust shield around the disc brakes was uh, like bent or something and it's like touching barely so it's kind of making a noise so we're just gonna take those completely off and be done with it so it's all good though Damn it, I've been waiting a long time for this. Let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah. Goddamn rush. There's the wife sitting out there on the porch watching us. <laughs> We are home. We are here. Ugh. Ugh. Hell yeah, boys. Let's go. There she is. Drove up here perfect. Everything is running perfect right now, except for the tune. We'll dial it in real good. She's running real good. All right, let's get working. So we uh, got the car here at the house now and uh, we moved it, I moved it to from where I pulled it in because it's blocking and it's just in the way. So now we got it in the good spots up on the jacks now because um, we got some things to do on this bad boy. So all the suspensions dialed in, cages dialed in, 
they did all that stuff up front the x brace in the back went over all that so that's all good so now it's just little things to tidy up so um we got some things that i'm going to unbox tonight and show you guys that came in i'm going to order a couple other things that i need to get done the all the oil catch can stuff we have no catch can pcv valves open right now and nothing's capped off um as you can see here the um on the valve covers open which can't leave that pcv valves open the only thing i capped was on the on the intake manifold which we're gonna leave so so yeah i'll go over how the catch can is gonna be set up i'm not sure exactly exactly where i'm gonna mount it in here yet um there's a lot of room right here which i like so um a lot of guys do it back here but i think it's gonna make it too cluttery it'll be nice right here i can run you know i'll run the catch can one of the hoses will come off of it and run all the way around and we'll come back down to here to a 90 on here and then the other hose will come off the valve cover and go straight to the catch can so that'll be a nice shorty and that'll look clean a little you know bracket can be right there the filter will stick up and it'll just be clean i'll be able to access it take it out dump it and all that good stuff so got to order all that stuff now to have it all in the uh, cart most of it i can actually get on amazon so um show you guys that when it comes in but i got some other stuff to unbox so we'll do that and then um we'll go over what's in those boxes and how and what i got to do to put those on but for right now she's on the jack stands chilling um ready to be worked on and we got so i got a bunch of other things that we got to do and i'll go over all that stuff when that time comes um if you uh follow me on instagram the i posted just in my story real quick it's not like a feed like on the actual page but we got a date set for the tune. Uh, we're gonna get this tuned. Uh, shout out to Turbo Joe here in Van Nuys, California. Um, he's gonna tune it. I know he's like the best. Heard nothing but good things. I've seen cars that he's done. They're amazing. So we got a uh, we got a date uh, July 3rd. So we're gonna go down there or June 3rd. I'm sorry, June 3rd. A couple weeks actually. So that's why we got to knock this stuff out for uh, for that. So I want to you know have everything buttoned up on the motor wise. There'll be a lot of cosmetic things that need to be done, but we'll take care of that. So. All right, let's uh, let's get to the unboxing. All right, so uh, last we were, I was saying that uh, we're gonna get some stuff pulled off the motor here because we we got some new parts that came in for the hatch and uh, the stuff we got was a we got the AEM wideband air to fuel ratio gauge and uh, we're gonna get that hooked up. But first, before we hook it up, I gotta pull the header off and take it over to my buddy. I just I just looked at my windshield and there's a huge crack in it. Well, that sucks. There was a tiny little mark. Now it's a big old crack. Oh, gotta get that replaced again. Sweet. Um. Anyways, I'm gonna take it to my buddy's house and he's gonna weld the little bung on there because there's only one OBD uh, O2 port for the uh, stock O2 sensor that I'm gonna leave that goes to the computer. So we're gonna take that off and take it over to him. So so here's the header. So we'll pull all the bolts off here. There's uh, two on top, three on the bottom, and then we'll go down underneath and unhook where the collector. This is a um, four to two. Actually, it's four all into one. So it's a four straight to one. This guy's revving his engine, I don't know why. Ridiculous. Um, so yeah, we'll take all that off, get that over to my buddy this week, and then we're also gonna pull off the, in, the uh, intake and I'm gonna pull the throttle body off. I wanna clean it thoroughly and uh, get that all cherry, put that back on. And then um, once we get the header back from him welding, we'll put it all back on. My buddy's gonna come over and we'll wire up the uh, new gauge. I got a three pod gauge cluster where the AC controls used to be. Well, there was no AC in here, but where all the heater controls and stuff were, air controls. So I got a three pod thing there that looks pretty sweet. So we'll put that in, but yeah, all right, let's get to work. wasn't too bad it would definitely be helpful if the car was higher which I might jack it up a hair more 
on the front jack stands to get it back in, but uh, there she is, right there. See how there's only one, there's only one bung here, so we'll probably weld, I'm gonna weld the other one up on this side. That's what I'm thinking. Or maybe down here at the collector, right here, I don't know. But this is the hybrid racing uh, header for K-Swaps, this thing's beautiful. I mean, you can tell how nice it is, like, look at that thing. That's what she looks like when she's on the car. Four, two to one, three inch. Down here anyways, this is not three inch. You can see it reduces right there. But beautiful welds, like everything is just so nice on this. So nice. So, there's this little guy here. I only had one of these in, but I think I'm just gonna leave one. It's not even a big deal. But I think, I think this goes this way. Yeah, I think it goes, oh yeah, it goes that way. Cause then, a little nut will go on better. Doesn't help with ripped gloves either, so. That's pretty annoying. It can go like this. Take the glove off and then do it. Yeah, so I need to get that tightened down. We'll get, that's a little Allen key, that's probably like a, it's freaking small. It might even be like an eight mil, but uh, so that's the header, got that off, that's good. Now we can take that over, get that bung welded so we can get the other two sensor in there to get our air to fuel gauge set up. And then I'll kind of run down with you guys. Um, so the other stuff I'm gonna be buying probably this week is the oil uh, catch can stuff. So there is a an adapter that goes on to this valve cover port here. It's actually sweet and it creates a 10 a.m. fitting and uh, it'll look just like this stuff here on the fuel lines bigger though this is uh this is dash six i think yeah this is dash six maybe that's dash six eight i can't remember 10's big 10's pretty big so it's an adapter it's going to come off i think i'm going to put the catch can right here then there'll be enough clearance from this thing to the little vent that's you know a little air it's like a little mini air filter kind of looks like that so that'll go up top and then so that'll route into there then you'll have a big hose that goes around the back. I'll, I'll hook it onto all this stuff here and it'll come around and it'll come through. I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring it all the way around over here or go through here. I might go right under here and hook it, hook it right, like right underneath here and get that hose to come across the motor mount or come down around. It's gotta come all the way around and then there will be, you know, come around here and then right here, here's the PCV valve. So we're gonna take that off, and there's an adapter go that goes there. You don't even need this adapter that goes in there for another 90 10 a.m. fitting, and that's gonna be the oil catch can. It'll look clean as hell. So I gotta go do a couple errands real quick. I'll be back, and then we'll pull the throttle body off. If you guys have noticed it, you know when I zoom in on the engine, you see all these things that are shaved down. I just these were all like the bolts and stuff that held the stupid valve cover thing on here when you know in a stock motor. Just wanted to clean it up and. All this crap on here that I didn't need anymore, I plugged off that. I think that used to be just some bullshit sensor or something, I can't remember. But I got the, you know, I got the original TPS and I blocked off this up here. It's the little coolant block off. I think that was the coolant up there. Also have that blocked off there. Got that blocked off, well that's the bolt, but that's blocked, that's blocked. And then just the regular sensor and then I think this is just Oh yeah, that's the one little coolant right into the new throttle body spacer. So we're gonna pull the throttle body off and I'm gonna thoroughly clean that bad boy with you know throttle body cleaner, air dry, you know, blow out some air and stuff like that. So we'll do that when we get back. But uh, for now, gotta go do some errands, come back, we'll do that stuff, finish her up, and I will unbox and show you guys the, uh, wow, air to fuel ratio gauge. So, all right, let's go. All right, so we got everything lined up. This video's taken me a few days to figure it out and get everything lined up. So my buddy's gonna come over in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna do a late nighter on this one. Should be able to get it done. So I got the header here and I've also got some stuff I'm gonna show you guys that we're gonna do for the exhaust and for uh, the gauges and all that good stuff. So. So check it out so we got here's our header this is the hybrid racing you got four into two 
There's two here and two there. And then into the one collector. So what I had my buddy do the other day, this thing's a little heavier than I thought it was gonna be. So uh, this is a, like a super clean header. Like the welds are super good on it. Like it's it's really, really nice. So here's the stock bung for the O2 sensor, which you will need for the AEM gauge, by the way. I got an AEM gauge, so it's the air to fuel gauge. You'll see it right now. This is the other bung that we welded. So we left this this little guy in there. It was the right threads. So when you weld a new bung on, you got to put something inside the threads to uh, make it not warp and heat up and bend and stuff when you're welding. Keeps that form. We just use this little thing. I'm not really sure what it's called. It looks almost like a tap, but it's not. And um, so, yeah, these are the welds he did. They came out really good and clean. As you can see, all the way around, it's good to go. So that's the second bung for the Bosch O2 sensor that comes with the AEM gauge. And uh, I'll show you right now, here's the gauge. So, so I'm gonna show you what's in here and what's in here. Obviously, everybody's seen an AEM gauge before, but pretty stoked on it. Um, it's my first gauge for the car, besides all the stock stuff. So that's what it looks like. There's a nasty glare there, there you go glare there it is so yeah so let's pull this out get all this out of here so you can actually see it it's a good looking gauge it's gonna it's digital in the middle it shows you the numbers and it'll go up uh, I believe changing colors from 11 to of the 16 marker and you know we'll get red if it gets too you know it'll go lean or lean or rich or whatever so it'll it'll tell you and then so that bung that we welded here did come with it and then it also came with obviously the gauge and then you've got your like you basically your harness for it i believe this goes to the east that goes to the bung or i mean that goes to the o2 sensor that goes in the bung and then this goes into the uh ecu i believe and then this one, uh, I'm not 100%. I believe this one goes from ECU to gauge. Something like that. Something along those lines. Because clearly the big, pug is the, the big plug is the O2 sensor. And here's the O2 sensor here. And by the way, I got this on Amazon. I kept reading reviews that people bought the AEM one. And they're like, oh, it's a fake AEM and all this stuff. And uh, all this crap saying, like, the O2 sensor wasn't the right, wasn't a Bosch one, where like it says. Because a Bosch is a, it's a good, that's a good O2 sensor. But I can 100% verify that this is a Bosch. It says it right there, Bosch. I don't know if it's going to focus good with the GoPro, but it's a Bosch O2 sensor. Just what you need. Comes with some butt connectors for wiring, all that good stuff. And it did come with, so it's got the black face on it there, but it also comes with a white face if that's what you're into. Like if you just like the white look. I don't really care for it. I like the black, stealthier, clean look because all the other gauges I'm going to get are black too, so... So that's that. So that's all the stuff for the for the gauge, which we're gonna get on here tonight, hopefully working, because we've got um I got a date set for the tune, which I think I mentioned already, uh, for June 3rd. That's next Thursday. So stoked on that. So I wanna get that gauge set up because then we can read good air to fuel ratios and he can tune it real, real good. He should be able to read through the computer, but it's nice to just have it, and I'm gonna want it when I'm racing. You know, so I can monitor that and and make sure nothing gets messed up with the tune of the car. Just something starts going weird. You want to? That's one of the main things you want to monitor on an all motor car for sure.
Okay, there it is. Exhaust is heat wrapped. It's not the prettiest, but it's pretty fucking good for the first time. Had to go around those. Had to go around the bungs on the other side, but that's it. It's not bad. It's gonna definitely do the job, so. All right, we're gonna put this on and then we are going to put the gauge in once this is in and we should be good, so we'll see. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, my buddy had to take off, I uh, had to get home, it's pretty late, so uh, we're gonna, we got the header completely wrapped. It's ready to go back in the car. I'm gonna go ahead and do that tomorrow and then um, get some of the wiring started for the, for the new gauge and that video will be completely about putting the gauge in and stuff like that and getting it working and stuff like that so you'll see that kind of like a little diy but um not super detail in depth on exactly how to do it but you know we won't show you every single little step but i will show you the big portions and it it seems simple enough i read through the entire instructions so should should be simple so yeah so the header came out sweet so and there's the header right there Came out pretty good for a first time. I mean, there's a couple little spots that are like crinkled up, but it shouldn't move. It's real freaking tight. I'm pretty itchy. This isn't fiberglass wrap. This is actually lava rock wrap. So you didn't have to wet it or anything like that, which is sweet. Um, but yeah, it came out pretty good. I, I, I definitely like it. So I had to go around these things so I couldn't, there's a bolt that I still need to put in there. There's one on the other side too. So, um, and then I just stopped it. I stopped it here instead of bringing it all the way down because the other bung is right there on the other side. So I kept it right here on the flat spot. So, But yeah, it came out real good. So, All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. Um, more work, more action to come. So car's getting real close. We're getting it prepped for that for that dyno day. And that's going to be – that'll be a cool video. So keep your eye out for that one. So all right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. Late.